here today at the Ocala um, National Forest. We're in the southern part, uh, almost as far south as you can go. Uh, we ran across this, the lovely research assistant discovered this some weeks ago and turned me on to it, so of course I had to see it. Um, it's kind of sad in a way, very sad in a way, uh, unless we know more about the place, but we don't right now. All we know is there's a lone grave site here. Some poor dude is buried in the absolute middle of nowhere. Some people might think that's beautiful and wonderful for the solitude, but there's no towns within, we're like four or five miles in. I mean, there's just nothing right around here. We're, we're in the middle of the forest. So for some reason, this guy, Jeremiah Brewer, born in 1844, from what we understand, from what the lovely research assistant has told us, he served his country in the war on the wrong side. We'll forgive him for that. And he passed on this ground in 1877 at 33 years old. And he was buried here. We don't know how he was marked, but we do know that his older brothers, he had four older brothers, four other brothers, I don't know if they were older or younger, who stayed in uh, Ohio. He was from Clinton County, Ohio. Uh, they stayed there. They found out he had passed in this ground. And they came and found these graves. They put this marker here. Um, and someone else sometime later put this fence up. I'm assuming that when he was buried that this was all just pretty much like it is now. Might have been a turpentine camp here or something like that there. But all we know right now is that this is uh, Lone Ground. The town of Paisley is south of us. That way somewhere. land is across the river about 15 miles that way. Uh, we don't know why this guy was here. Maybe he just came out here to be alone, which would mean there'd be some remnants of a structure of some sort around here, which would be super cool to find, obviously. Um, but we don't know any of that. All we know, we don't know why he was here, why he came to be here, what his feelings were when he was here. All we know is that he passed on this ground, they buried him in it, and that's it. And it's kind of, kind of touchingly uh, sad, more, more so than a lot of the other cemeteries we run into, because they at least were a community. They had people around them, people who came and paid their respects at some point. For all we know, this guy just found him and stuck him in this ground. We don't know, we don't know anything about him. But um, we're gonna do more research, try to find out more stuff. But right now, it's an extremely compelling find for us. We live absolutely nowhere to, to find a grave out here. And this is, you know, obviously one of the most beautiful spots in the world. I mean, you couldn't, there's different different types of beauty, but there isn't anything any more beautiful than where we're staying right now. So, um, thank you, as always, to the lovely research assistant for her valiant, diligent efforts, which is what makes her such a great researcher. And uh, we're going to get a closer shot of the, of the uh, tombstone and the interior, and then we're going to shut it down.